Hi guys, welcome to Power Performance Engineering. Today we're going to show you in the 2.5 University Part 3 how to measure the piston height for our cylinder heads or to optimize the squish on any 2.5. So we're starting here with our deck tool we have. It's on the website with the indicators or without the indicators. We've put it on here. We've set the heights so they travel far enough and over travel on both indicators. If you take the time and set them up so they point straight up and down, it's better. Uh, we're zeroing this on a ground granite plate. Both indicators are zero. Then we're going to proceed to turn the flywheel. We're going to sit the bridge over the tool, over the deck here, over the sleeve here. We're going to rotate the engine until we find the highest point. We're going to add the two indicators together. In the case of this here, just a demonstration easier off the motor. If that was 20 and zero, the average stick out would be 20 and zero. So the average would be 10 here on the sheet. So when you fill out the sheet, you simply just put the cylinder number in the case of this we're looking at cylinder number two so you would write the height here of cylinder two of the two indicators divided by two and give me the total that way in thousands so here we go so indicator zeroed we're going to take this we're going to hold it up against the deck like this set it as flat as you can rotate the flywheel There we go, it rocked fast, so we're gonna find the highest point, which in this case is positive two, which is to the right, this side, the clockwise side, and positive four. So plus four plus two equals six. So we're dividing that by two, so we're gonna that's gonna equal three on the deck here. I normally write it on the deck too because it's useful to come back. You're gonna do two and four, and then that would equal 0 0.003. You're gonna to proceed to the next cylinder down here. We'll, we'll do it one more time. So it looks like I'm getting three thousandths above and six thousandths above, so that's nine. So nine divided by two would be 4.5. Now written correctly, it would actually be 0 0.0045. That would be uh, correctly written. Now, so once we, once we determine this, okay, so we have a positive stick out here. You can feel it's barely sticking out, four and a half thousandths. When we actually go to machine the chamber, we machine the chamber specifically for this each cylinder to optimize the squish. Ideally we want, if you're drag racing, you want 36 thousandths, 38 thousand squish. If you're lake riding, you want about 40 thousand squish. So we use this gauge here, which is also zeroed. This isn't part of the kit, but this is what we use internally as we machine these. So that's zeroed. We take it in the chamber here, we sit it in the corner and that would be 44 thousandths. So, on this lake motor here, this chamber would fit perfect here and optimize the squish at 40 thousandths. Hope you enjoyed part three of Mercury University.